Alright, so we are on our way to Mammoth Lakes today. Um, we wrapped up our trip in Bishop, uh, the volcanic tablelands areas where we were camping. Had a great time. Fishing was difficult. I'd seen some comments uh, on Instagram uh, when I'd posted some pictures of the river, you know, that the people had heard it was difficult conditions. And uh, yeah, we didn't do very well at all. And uh, But still, beautiful time here. It's just a beautiful river, the Laurel Owens. And, um, and the view of the Sierras here and uh, Mount Whitney is incredible. So uh, we are on our way to Mammoth Lakes and uh, we'll get set up in camp today and we'll let you know guys know where we land. Okay, so we have landed out at our next campsite in Mammoth Lakes. <clears throat> and nicely shaded, very level area. <clears throat> We're in a really nice location here, just north of Mammoth. And I think we're gonna make some lunch today. Uh, it's a nice day. The weather's much cooler here than in Bishop, probably the mid-70s. Lakes. Uh, we are going to uh, go into Mammoth Lakes area itself, go up above Mammoth Lakes to where the lakes are for Mammoth Lakes and um, check out the access for kayaks and for fishing in general. But we fished some of the lakes already. Um, Lake George I think was one of them we fished a year or two ago. Um, it is windy. Um, it's been windy the last few days and makes me think that kayaking is not going to be the best thing to be doing on these lakes right now. So if that's the case, we may be looking more at the creeks in the area and either fly fishing or spin casting for, um, for trout in the local area. So we'll see how it goes. It's still beautiful here, beautiful blue skies, just a, a bit windy. So we'll see how it goes. We'll keep you guys posted. Mammoth Lakes, the town is beautiful. It's like a, a Lake Tahoe ski resort type of town. And in the summer months, mountain biking is really huge here. Um, but the mountains here are just gorgeous. The views are incredible. Multiple lakes and creeks and rivers to, uh, to fish uh, around here. Uh, just, just a great area to explore.
You back there somewhere? Yep. Roads closed up to the lakes. Pull off in the parking lot by the view to the Twin Lakes. Well, getting up to the lakes above Mammoth was not possible, as you can see in the video. The road was closed. Still, I guess, too early in the season uh, to get up that way. Uh, and it's very windy the last few days. So uh, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do for kayak fishing. Because um, I don't want to be on the lakes in that kind of wind. So we may look at some stream fishing in the next few days. Um, or go out extremely early in the morning. But even when we woke up this morning in Mammoth, it was really windy. So... I don't know what we're going to do here. Anyway, we'll see what it is. It's still beautiful. We're going to go have lunch at a brewery in Mammoth right now and uh, figure out from there what our next course of action is. Hopefully, finding a place to fish. All right, so we just had an incredible lunch at that Mammoth uh, brewery and uh, really good burgers there and really good. I had, um, street tacos or chicken tacos that were there um, really really good place great beer as well we were talking to a, a fellow there who had been coming up the 395 from the alabama hills and he's heading up towards bridgeport area as well just like us and he had seen um, a place to go fishing uh, coming up the 395 he gave us a location to go check out so we're gonna go try that, or at least see what the, the, the deal is with that location. Um, he, he said he saw some people fly fishing there, so we're gonna go down and check that place out. And then um, we're also probably gonna try uh, Benton Crossing Road and um, maybe fish the Owens River, either north or south of the Owens River, we're not sure. <clears throat> but yeah, it's a beautiful day still, but a bit windy. We'll see how it goes. and. Uh, Hopefully, catch some fish on this trip. Do we miss a left turn back there at all? Not that I know of. I didn't see any. Man, this is killing me. Hang on, I think we got to turn around. Said Owens River Road. Road, yeah, I can see on the map that we're going up into a development with all sorts of homes way away from where we need to be. So I'm going to turn around here. Hang on. Okay, so uh, that lead on the creek down uh, south of Mammoth didn't turn out to be so great. So we're now going to check out the Owens River area north of Benton Crossing, for those of you who know where that is. Anyway, it's uh, the upper Owens River area above uh, Lake Crowley. And so we're going to check out some spots along there. It's mid-afternoon and uh, it's pretty windy, but uh, we're gonna go up there and see what it's like. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. It's really windy here today, but you can see the river section here. It's a beautiful section of the Upper Owens above Crowley Lake, and it's just ideal fly fishing area. Today we're just going to make a bunch of waypoints, various of fish probably in the morning. It's just too windy right now, and it's getting late in the day, and we also want to get our camp set up for the night, so we'll probably spend some time the rest of the day making some waypoint locations to come directly to tomorrow and try some fishing then. But you can see some of the uh, views of the Sierras here, pretty incredible. And 
Sean and his Greg, his Toyota. So we're at another location we're going to check out on the river. So we're going to be walking in through this access point here on the Upper Owens River and see, uh, see what it looks like. Definitely has a more old school access point provided for fishermen versus the metal ones you typically see. Got some rather large brown trout right in front of me here. <clears throat> Can't really see them with the ripples in the water, but they're feeding at the surface. There we go. See the fins right there. Okay, so we are off this morning to uh, fish the upper Owens River above Lake Crowley and uh, we will go to the same location we were yesterday and we're going to give it a shot. We're going to spend uh, hopefully a pretty good portion of the day fishing and then after that I think the plan is to start heading north up towards uh, Bridgeport today and try to find a camping spot probably up near uh, Twin Lakes is what we're thinking today. So. We'll let you know how things go. So, we are walking out to see what it looks like this morning. Just a beautiful day on the Upper Owens. Gorgeous views today. So you can see the river here. Beautiful little section of the Owens here, a little horseshoe bend in the river. 
really pretty. Pretty nice one on now. Let's see if I can keep them on with the barbless hook. There he goes for another day. Okay, we are leaving the upper Owens River area uh, outside of Mammoth Lakes, California, and um, it was a great day, a lot of fun. I caught some small four to six inch uh, brown trout, but caught a couple really nice ones. Uh, one I actually landed, one broke off. The one I landed, I would say was 16 to 18 inches long. The one that broke off, who knows, but they were, they had, 24 inch trout in that river easy uh, maybe even larger um, so it was fun you could see them in the river um, they were just being really picky on what they wanted to bite on um, but it was overall a good day so now we're heading towards um, Bridgeport uh, we're leaving about 3 p.m. Bridgeport should take about an hour to get up there and we're going to camp at the Twin Lakes area um, which is a beautiful area outside of Bridgeport and we're hoping to do kayaks finally tomorrow. So um, hopefully we can give you guys some, some video footage of that, um, some fishing on the lakes in the next couple days and see how we do out there. So. Okay, this wraps up part two of our trip along the 395 corridor in the Eastern Sierras. Our next video will be in the Bridgeport area of California, so I hope you join us for part three, which will be coming soon. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to help this channel grow.